Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can uh, test an IDOC. So first, what I'm going to do is I'll go to a transaction. Okay, suppose WE02. Okay, and here this is the transaction code where you can see IDOCs. And here I'll just change the date timestamp and I'll put 51. 51 are the IDOCs which are in error. Okay, so I'm executing this. And suppose I want to select this IDOC and I want to test it. So how can I do it? First, I will copy this IDOC. Okay, so I'll just go here, Control Y, Control C. Okay, this I am done. Now I'll go to a transaction called WE19. Okay, once I give WE19 and I execute and I put this value. Okay, this didn't get copied. Control Y, Control C, Control V, and I execute. Once I execute here, this this will show. Uh, from here, we can trigger the IDOC, so uh, a new IDOC. So it's showing up in the meantime. So here you can find the different partners, the basic type, and all those things. So this is DevMask, which will be. <coughs> which you can see it's an material master uh, from here also you can find different statuses so if i double click on it this is running okay and there are other dev mass also and once this gets executed you can just trigger the test tool for the idol so in the meantime, I can just select another one. Okay, so suppose I pick this one and I go here and I create a new session. In the meantime, let that other one execute. I put WE19, I execute and the test tool for IDOC processing. And once this gets executed you just need to click on start inbound standard inbound function model and from there we can just test the idoc so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and have basically learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a good